Well, talk about hotly anticipated the new iPhone 6 to be unveiled by Apple in California in less than an hour's time. Customers are already camped outside an Apple store in New York City awaiting the launch event for the new iPhone. It's a bit pointless though because the actual release date has not yet been announced. The event will be streamed live through Apple's website. The launch of the iPhone 6 is an event which is being billed as Apple's most important since its first iPhone launch. It is, of course, under pressure to pull something extraordinary out of the hat because it's facing unprecedented competition. Apple is the biggest U.S. company by market cap. It rose by more than 1% ahead of the expected unveiling in California. Well, let's look ahead. We can't see it yet. It's just an hour, uh, but we can talk about the leaks and what's expected. We're joined by Seth Mbele from Digital Voodoo in Johannesburg and Stephen Norris from Mamie Byrne in Cape Town. Both tech analysts are with me tonight. Thank you for joining me, gentlemen. Let's start with you, Seth. Um, Apple, to an extent, uh, has been accused of, of losing its edge. We haven't seen innovation for a while, so, so there's a lot of pressure tonight. Yeah, there is a lot of pressure, um, but unfortunately, from what I have um, seen of the leaks so far, it looks like Apple is just going to be playing catch up. Um, with the new devices, there's uh, talk of being waterproof, of being dustproof and the like, and a bigger display. But other, other makers such as Samsung have already done it. Uh, so it's a, for me, a little bit too little too late. So Apple is no longer leading the race. Uh, Stephen Norris, what, what do you think from, from what you've heard and what you've seen? Well, I agree. Look, the phone is pretty, it's going to be a fantastic looking device and it's going to be waterproof, dustproof, all of that. But Apple tends to copy instead of innovating, but at least it copies really, really well. <laughs> well what about this transparency? Apparently you can text um, while, while you're walking. We haven't seen that before, surely. I, I don't we think don't that's, that is going to I don't think that's going to happen what what always happens before these uh, these iPhone launch events is that there's um, people sort of go to the extreme of, of possibility in terms of what Apple might possibly uh, come up with but they they hardly ever do I mean five years ago they were talking about a curved screen and all sorts of good things but that has never happened mm -hmm. to date St Stephen, let's let's come back to you. Let's talk about what we do know. Um, if if we can be certain that it's a, a bigger screen, so I guess we're heading towards um, that that phone that you can do so much more on, but but thinner. Is that correct? That's right. I mean, what we can expect, and I mean, the specs and the sizes have leaked already, literally half an hour ago. There's actually going to be two iPhones: a 4.7 inch and a 5.5 inch phone. But that's only going to come later in the year. And you were speaking about the transparency earlier. Um, Apple may release an iWatch tonight that pairs with their iPhone. And that is how people will text and do everything on the run without having to interact with their phone. Would you buy an iPhone? Seth? I, I would buy an iPhone only if it came, uh, if the iWatch actually is going to happen. Um, for me, wearable Sorry, technology. Sorry, I meant the iWatch. The iWatch, yeah, definitely. It, it sounds fancy. I imagine this kind of big gadget that, that it's, you it's lug around. Quite, it's, it's actually quite, uh, it's quite small. I think they probably got the idea from the i. I remember my brother used to have the iPod Nano and he put a little uh, Velcro strap on it. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of a similar idea. It's kind of like a, a, a miniature i, 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 i iPod. Um, with, uh, with, with certain functionality like being able to interact with Siri um, as well as um, map integration and, and mm. such like. But it's, it's basically, it's, it's a watch that w works mostly based on your phone. Stephen, apparently other wearable devices, anything else that, that's got you excited? Because I feel that, that neither of you uh, in studio here in Johannesburg or in Cape Town are, are terribly ecstatic. No, no, I'm just keeping it down for the camera. I'm incredibly excited for the iPhone. I mean, I'm on TV talking about a phone now. You never go on TV to talk about an Android or a BlackBerry device because mm. no one cares about those. But people care about iPhones because Apple packs a lot of love and um, care and, and working apps that people use on a day-to-day -day basis. That's, that's what an iPhone is. I won't go on about them, but I mean, it's going to be a cool phone for the next six months. Seth, is, is that going to be good enough? So, so you're not talking about a major leap here, um, but Apple doing what it does well. They, yeah, they, the things that they do very well is they, they do user interactivity very well and user, user experience design particularly well, and their app platform is great for developing, um, developing applications. I also suspect that uh, with the release of the iPhone 6, 
they're going to fix a couple of bugs that they've had with the um, iOS 8.1. Uh, which is uh, which has been in beta until until now. There were certain apps like WhatsApp, uh, which was crashing and things mm. like that. I think they're going to fix that uh, with this release. I, I want a response from both of you. So mm. Seth, first, I, I have an iPhone, um, and and the battery just kills me. I'm I'm always charging, and and surely that is the purported next leap. Well, we see some amazing uh, battery that you never have to charge here. Yeah. Uh, no. And uh, don't disappoint me. But they, 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 uh, I haven't heard anything uh, of that sort yet, but the iWatch is supposed to last you the whole day, um, if that makes, uh, if it makes life a little bit better. But there are ways of getting uh, better battery life out of your phone, um, getting off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all of those things, but uh, I don't think that they, they, there will be many leaps and bounds in the, in the uh, battery space. Stephen, have you heard of uh, anything relating to, to the battery? And also, um, how does Apple get a bit of excitement going ag again around iPads? Because it, it's really lost market share there. I think the best way to get excitement going around iPads is just to bring out cheaper, thinner ones and to really push them into the market like what Samsung and like Huawei has done with the, the far cheaper tablets. You just got to get it to everybody. And as for the battery, I've, I've heard nothing. I mean, the advancements in battery technology, like fuel cell batteries, those are, those are years away. So whatever battery magic Apple has in store, it'll probably just be um, app management um, tasks that will keep the battery lower without it draining too quickly during the day. When can we expect this in South Africa and, and what sort of price are you expecting? Stephen, I think we can expect, uh, uh, sorry, I think we can expect it within the next two to three months. And judging by the, pr well, the iPhone 5S was 9,500 for the cheapest model. So for the next iPhone, if there's one or two, it'll probably be between nine to 11,000 Rand. Seth, uh, do you agree? Uh, I think that price point is, is, is pretty much uh, correct. However, uh, the, the new model that, they, that they're going to release, which is the larger screen, the 5.5, which I think is kind of bridging between phone and tablet, I'm not sure what price point that's going to be. I would assume that it's, it's going to mm -hmm. be more expensive. Um, and there have also uh, been leaks of the interface being, uh, it, it looks like a, a, a sort of a landscape, you can do landscape mode with mm -hmm. it, which is quite exciting. Uh, so that's kind of like an iPad. Um, but not quite as big. It's 5.5 inches uh, versus the 7 inch uh, of an of a iPad mini. So, so staying with you, Seth, mm. um, I is this all enough? Because we know that, uh, like you said, there are a lot of cheaper versions out there doing the same thing. So, so Apple's still uh, wanting the, this premium, but will people continue to buy into this brand? I think people definitely will be, uh, continue to buy into this brand. Uh, Steve Jobs did a great job uh, setting up a, 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 an awesome company, which is really based on experience. Um, they, 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 um, they push um, experience over uh, affordability, which is fine. Um, it will probably always be a slightly premium product. Um, I think they, 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 they brought out the iPhone 5C. It didn't do fantastically well. It did, it did okay, but as, a, as an entry-level phone, I think that strategy they're probably going to do away with uh, going forward. Mm. Stephen, your, your assessment for uh, the, the long-term prospects for, for the Apple brand that has always been so razzle-dazzle, can it maintain it? Well, I mean, if that lead designer, Johnny, Johnny Ives, that's his name, if he can keep pumping out the hits, and by hits I mean thinner, better, faster phones, and hopefully one day completely with transparent glass, um, then yeah, of course. And Apple's just got that mystique, you know, that, that classic, like a, like a Chevy. And people just want to own it. When they think of phones, people think of iPhones. They don't think of HTCs or, mm. or, or well, 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 my final That's just question. how it is. My final question to both of you, um, and, and it's a simple one-word answer, basically, because there's a race at the top between Samsung and Apple. So starting with you, Seth, vote. Uh, Samsung versus Apple? Mm -hmm. Always Apple. Stephen? Uh, Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think next time we should debate <laughs> these two phones and see what ha Samsung has in store. We will see what Apple has in store uh, in less than an hour, less than half an hour, I believe now. And that will be streamed live from California across the globe. It's uh, live on the Apple site. Thank you to both my tech analysts tonight, uh, Seth and Stephen Norris in Cape Town.